Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe Malia's World. And today, I'm going to show you some of my RC trucks. Welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Where we keep it hillbilly fabulous. Yee yee! Hey y'all. Well, I want to go over some of my RC trucks and kind of a hobby. I've just recently got back into the hobby of RC because I've been into RCs my whole life. And it started wherever little kids love for RC starts. My dad was a car guy, had hot rods, loved working on cars. Well, when you're little, you're not so much of a mechanic. So you want your own car. So what you do, you rush out and get the next best thing. RC cars. And there's many RC cars out there. All of these are what they call hobby grade. And I'll explain in a minute what hobby grade means. But, to start out, there is nothing wrong with just going to Walmart, buying a truck from Walmart, get used to driving one, but I promise you, when you go get those trucks, you will want better, because they are a lot of fun. The difference between the Walmart trucks, or any other Target trucks, or any department store truck, is they're not hobby grade, which means... When you wreck and break the wheel off, it's trash. When you wreck it and break a frame, it's trash. Bus shocks, trash. So you've basically got a big hunk of plastic ready for the trash. RC grade. Let me show you on one of these. Let me show you on this one. Because this is a good starter. This is a good affordable starter. It's an ECX Temper 2, little rock crawler, four link suspension, nice axles. All the internals are covered, but as you can see, an aluminum body. Of course, up here, let me pull these pins. If I can get them out. This is where your battery goes. Pop a battery in there, flip a switch, ready to run, ready to race. That's the thing you have to look for when you go for RC cars, ready to race. Because you can buy kits that are disassembled. And if you've never assembled an RC car, it can get complicated. But don't let it scare you. There's nothing too overly complicated with RC cars. It's pretty basic. And when I say basic, let me show you. This is a Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. You've got your A-arms, shocks, steering components. There's a steering servo. This is an ECF, or ESC, electronic speed control. That's the brains. It's the brains of the whole operation. Shock towers. This is a rear engine. There's your engine. This is your basically your transmission. Drive shafts. That's it. Basic. I mean, basically in the nutshell, not too complicated. But like I say, hobby grade. Hobby grade is the way to go because if anything tears up on this truck, which has happened, I've already replaced a drive shaft. I've had to replace some pins. But all in all, this has been a good little truck. This is a good starter truck. But when you buy these, be fully ready to work on it. And to work on them, look here guys. $25 eBay. Everything you need. Just about every, well I put this in there. But just about everything you need. And they make similar tool kits. You can buy tool kits on different websites. But they're pretty much standard when it comes to the sizes and everything. And they're fully upgradable. Like, like this truck has been upgraded. This is not a factory motor. This is a ghoul engine. It has a ghoul engine. Just like this truck, it has a castle engine, but this is a four-wheel drive truck. This is two-wheel. 
Here's the drive shaft. Front axles, rear axles. Castle East ESC, uh, speed control. And most of them come with a pretty standard remote trigger. Forward for reverse, back for forward, which you can reverse. There's a switch. You can set it to reverse your steering and your throttle. Left, right. But as you can see by the old hat, I'm a Traxxas man. I've always had Traxxas. This is this was the pinnacle of my RC back in the day. This is a T Max. These all are electric. This is a nitro truck. And by nitro, I mean it actually has an engine. A single cylinder 2.5 engine. Gas tank, speed control. Transmission. This truck actually has a two speed transmission. Exhaust. Of course, you can tell this is a little beefier truck. Dual, dual shocks. But this is a little higher end. This, this is when you're getting into some money right here. This is a project for later. We're going to rebuild old bad, that bad boy right here. Because she's been setting for a while. But that's for a future video right there. We're gonna get her running. When you get when I get her running, you're gonna be amazed. But you can upgrade bodies. This is an upgrade body. Beautiful. Which you can paint yourself. Stickers, decals. You can upgrade bodies. And uh, another thing to think about is batteries. What we have here, these are LiPo batteries. Both of these, I think, are LiPo batteries. Yes, these are lithium polymers. This one is a nickel metal, nickel metal hydride. And when you go to buy chargers, you got to think about this. This is a Traxxas charger. It only charges Traxxas batteries. This is a Dynamite Profit Sport Mini. I bought this for this truck. It come with this plug for this battery, but you can buy the pigtail. These come off. That's why this charger is really good. You just buy the pigtail, pop it in there. This has got a plug for about every truck you could think of. It's got Traxxas, it's got Dean plug, it's got it all. So that's a good thing to have right there. So, because I bought this truck brand new. I bought this truck new. This is an older truck, but I bought this truck recently brand new. These trucks and this buggy, I bought from an individual I know. He used different batteries on his. So I have... I had to have a way to charge them, so I had to get that pigtail. But uh, there's different style trucks. Monster truck, these three short course race trucks. This here is a carpet and concrete race buggy. Buggies are fun. They are a lot of fun, and they are fast. I'm going to add this right here, disclaimer. These are not toys. These can hurt you and will hurt you. These cars can travel up to 70 mile an hour easily. When this car this size is traveling 70 mile an hour, you can only imagine what it feels like when it hits the old ankle or your kneecap. So these cars can be dangerous. But in a controlled environment, lots of fun. A blast you'll have a blast but you got different size batteries too all of these take 3s 3s up to 3s batteries but you got trucks that'll take 6s 8s which is dual battery and uh, yep this is it's a lot of fun guys but be careful
you can sink in a lot of money. <laughs> it can be a money pit, but to start off, $135. Rock crawler. It's not going to be too fast for you. It ain't an ankle breaker. Fun little truck. But you're going to want to upgrade. These trucks run five. This one's about $400, about $500 for these. This one, that's going to be up in the thousand. But I think that's all. Let me show you the box for this buggy because this gives you a good example. When you buy these things, you're this is a ready to race. So when you buy these things, I should have got my Traxxas box out too. But here's a body, upgrade body, ready to paint. What you do, you paint it from the inside. Then you trim all this off and it's got a plastic film and you peel it and then it looks glossy on the outside. These do not come with it. These are extra wheels. But you got extra parts that come with it, like uh, you got little shims that you can preload your shocks with, makes your shocks a little stiffer. This has got an extra transfer case with it. Extra shock tower. Just extra small little parts. Here's your, your guide that'll tell you everything. I mean, it will tell you everything and it'll even tell you the part numbers when you break stuff like this right here it's even got part numbers for screws for the slats that go in your frame everything everything will have a part number so just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about my love and my hobby of RC and and there will be a lot more videos coming because I plan on taking these things out and racing them and showing you some bashing because these suckers will light up the road jump you can beat the life out of these things this not so much that's a breaker you can break this one a little easier because the wheels are exposed and stuff but these three guys amazing Love Traxxas, but since I bought this guy, the Arma, I'm really, really digging Arma. The, this truck has impressed me. So, Traxxas is about the leading name in RC. The, pretty user-friendly. Pretty much just throw a battery in it, race it. But, guys, RC is a fun hobby. And if you and you guys are into RCs, drop a comment below. Let me know what you got, how you got into RC. Just let me know your love of RC. And I think that about wraps it up for now. But guys, future videos, let's do some bashing. And don't forget, thank you for letting a little bit of Big Joe and Malia's world into your world. Bye.